Hello people, welcome to another tutorial. My name is Agnes. In today's tutorial, I will show you how I made this mild colored dress. I used the silt stitch, like S-I-L-T stitch. It's quite easy. If you know how to make a single crochet and a double crochet, then you'll be able to make this dress which is not a see-through, it is a bit stretchy, the stitch is a bit stretchy and it's easy to make. I love how it turned out. You can make it in your size. I'll be showing you what measurements I took so that you can be able to make it for yourself. I went ahead and styled it in boots and this leather jacket because I was going out this evening and I think the whole look turned out great. So. Thank you for watching and we are going to go straight into the tutorial. So for the yarn, I used this acrylic yarn, Ilauke, I think it's the brand. I got this over Amazon DE, that's in Germany. So I just went to Amazon, typed in multicolored yarn and brought me options and I fell in love with this. So this is what I got and it doesn't make, give many details, it just says a lot. Ilauke acrylic yarn and with the feel of it when I try to feel it it feels like DK yarn so yeah you can use any other yarn doesn't have to be multicolored can be a single color and I think it will turn out great for the hook size I used a 3.5 millimeter hook for this and scissors and a tape measure we will need a tape measure so let's start we will be starting from bottom of the dress going upwards so we are going to start with a foundation chain and we'll be working in rounds so i will make a slip knot this is how i make my slip knot i just hold my yarn like this and then set my hook then make two chains and then release my yarn on the other side and just pull to make a knot and then I'm going to make a chain and this chain take your hips measurements subtract eight inches to get a further stretch so I'll take my hips measurements subtract eight and I'll make that chain so this is my chain and it is 25 inches long because my hips measurements is 33 inches so I took my hips measurements which is 33 inches 33 inches subtract 8 is 25 okay so 33 minus 8 inches is 25 so take your hips measurements take put a tape measure around your hips and see what you have and then subtract 8 from that okay and that will be your foundation chain so we are working from bottom to top so now you are going to make your chain straight like this because we want to join it and we don't want it to be entangled so i am going to insert my hook in this very fast chain and close it up with a slip stitch so now we want to begin on our first row so this is how this pattern will go it is a repeat of just one row okay a repeat of one row so what we are going to do is you're going to chain one and in this very first stitch here you are going to work a first single crochet so this is a single crochet and into the next stitch you're going to yarn over because we want to make a double crochet going to the next chain make a double crochet so basically this is the pattern and next is going to be no yarning over make a single crochet and then the next stitch will be a double crochet so the next will be a single crochet and into the next stitch make a double crochet so basically this is the pattern it's just an uh, alternating between a single crochet and a double crochet Sing single crochet double crochet single crochet double crochet so quite easy right and it gives this dress like that really nice looking texture okay so I'll see you at the end of the round so so I went all around and I'm coming 
to the end so this is a single crochet and I'm going to finish this off with a double crochet and I will slip stitch on top of the first single crochet that I made at the beginning like that okay so next is we are going to chain one and since my last stitch was a double crochet we are going to be turning our work so I turn my work since my last stitch was a double crochet i'll make a single crochet on top of it but if your last stitch was a single crochet then you begin with a double crochet so that's a single crochet just because my last stitch was a double crochet if you had a single crochet then you'll make a double crochet as your first stitch we'll be alternating the stitches so since this was a single crochet i'll go in here and make a double crochet next was a double crochet so on top of it I will make a single crochet next is going to be a double crochet on top of the previous single crochet next is a single crochet then I have a double crochet so where you have a double crochet make a single crochet and where you have a single crochet you will be making a double crochet and you're going to do that until you're at the end of the round and i'll meet you so that we start on round three which is basically the same i just want to show you one more time i'll meet you here so i'm coming to the end of the round and i have a single crochet here a double crochet single crochet and uh then my my last one should be a double crochet here but i missed it okay don't miss any stitches so i went and closed it off without doing my double crochet but i will correct it in the next round i forgot about it okay so if you are ending your stitches with a double crochet they will always end with a double crochet if you're ending them with a single crochet they will always end with a single crochet i'll show you on this round what i mean i missed a stitch don't miss that stitch okay so we are working now on round three and we're just going to repeat the same thing where you have a double crochet make a single crochet and where you have a single crochet make a double crochet and i will see you at the end so that i can show you that how not to make that mistake that i made So I went all around and I'm back. This is a single crochet and right here you see below this stitch here that I had on the previous. So here it is like below that chain one, you make that last stitch. Don't forget about that because I had a single crochet right down below there. So I'll close it off with a slip stitch, chain one, turn my work and I'm going to repeat. So. You will be working in this stitch right here because we are working it when we are we are working in it when we close our row okay so chain one turn your work and my last stitch was a double crochet so on top of the double crochet i will make that single crochet and i'm just going to repeat the pattern keep going round and round and round with the same pattern until you have your skirt below your belly button so that we can make some decreases for the waist okay so i will try it on you see what i mean depending on the length that you want it to be and yeah so keep repeating keep repeating until we are ready to decrease so i tried mine on this is what i mean the waist is kind of big and i want to reduce it so 
here below the belly button is now where i want to start reducing okay so once you have your height of the skirt that you want we need to make reductions to get up for the waist all right so this is what i have and let's see how many inches before i start to reduce it's about uh, 14 and a half 15 inches yeah so that's the length that i have and now i want to make reduction so it depends on how long you want your skirt to be and once you're ready to do the waist then this is how we reduce so i want to be reducing after every uh, 18 stitches okay after every 18 stitches i want to make a reduction so i will just show you one more time how to close this off in case the the previous one wasn't clear so okay so now this is going to be a row of reducing so i'll make a single crochet since my last stitch was a double crochet and then a double crochet and i'm going to do this until i have 18 stitches then i can make the reduction And once we make the reduction, you wear this dress over your head, not from down your hips, because then you're, you're stretching out the, the waist. So you are wearing it from over your head downwards, not from, I don't know, people wear dresses from down upwards, maybe, I don't know, but yeah, you get it. So now I need to make a reduction, okay? Watch this. So I need to reduce into these two. So I'll go in like this and out like that, okay? But it is a single crochet, my stitch. So I'll go in one like this, right? Because this is a double crochet, my next stitch is a single crochet. So I'll go in one and then two and make my single crochet. You have to reduce a pair otherwise it doesn't work so my next is a double crochet so i'll go in and out of the next stitch like this and then a double crochet you have to reduce a pair you have to make two reductions otherwise it doesn't work so my next one is a single crochet and you can see it's on top of a previous double crochet so then the pattern continues as usual and i'm going to do 18 and then make another reduction i'll show you in the next uh, round when i make a reduction just another way of reducing in case you're doing one single color maybe this looks weird so i'll also show you another way of making the reduction just that you have options you can try out and see what looks best for you so 18 stitches and then i make my next reduction so now i need to reduce i have a double crochet so my next should be a single crochet i go into these two stitches like this and make a single crochet and then i go into these two stitches like this and make a double crochet and so my next is a single crochet and it is right on top of the double crochet so you have to reduce a pair for the pattern to work okay so I'm just going to continue doing this after 18 stitches, make a reduction, 18, 18 stitches, make a reduction until I'm at the end of the round and I'll meet you there. So I'm coming to the end of the round and I have a reduction at the end of the round because that's what's after my 18 stitches. And close this round off with a slip stitch then chain one turn my work and now the next round we are not going to make any decreases okay so we're just going to work in every stage without decreases so just like before I'll go in where I have a double crochet I'll make a single crochet and where I have a single crochet I will make a double crochet and i'll just work this round with no decreases and then we can make decreases in the next round
So work in every stitch until you get to the end and I will meet you there. So we are done with our row of no decreases. Okay, so this is my last stitch and I'm going to close this off with a slip stitch. And now the next round we are going to chain one, turn our work and then now we're going to begin again on our decreases. And it is the same after every 18 rows, I mean stitches, then I make a decrease, okay? So I'm going to do 18 stitches and then show you how to make that decrease. This is a different option that I will show you. So you can just choose which one is best for you. Okay, 18 stitches and then we do that decrease. So for the decrease, um, don't yarn over because this is a double crochet, so I need to make single crochets. So I'll go into the front loop of one of the stitches and the front loop of the next stitch like this, and then make my single crochet. I have used this a thousand times in my previous project, so you might know if you follow me. So next is a double crochet, so I'll go into the front loop of one and then front loop of the next like this. And then just pull and make a double crochet like that so we made two reductions okay or is a pair and now my next is a single crochet and then a double crochet and then continue do 18 stitches and once I'm done with that then make a reduction and get to the end of the row here okay so I made reduction three rows of reduction and and then after that it was no reducing at all because it was fitting my waist okay so i only made three rows of reduction so it is like a row of reduction a row of node reduction a row of reduction a row of no reduction a row of reduction then from there i made rows of no reduction at all because it was already fitting my waist and this is how many inches i have 19 inches so far and now i need to increase to cater for our uh, bust area okay so i only did three rows of decrease and the rest were no decrease at all and now i need to make a few rows of increase just to cater for my bust area because our bust is bigger than our waist though our hips are way bigger than our bust okay and this you have your bust bigger Okay, so I want to increase only this area where I have my boobs, right? So I will be only making increases in these two places. So just put a stitch mark, a stitch marker where you think your boob is, and that's where I'll be increasing. I didn't, I don't need a stitch marker because I can just guess where it is. But yeah, you might need one. So chain one turn my work and i'm going to work all around like this until i'm here where i need to make an increase okay so the pattern is the same and i'll meet you when i'm making the increase so i went all around like this until here where i need to make my increase and also i put a stitch mark there where i need to make my second increase so we will be increasing in, in doubles because if you increase only one stitch then it doesn't work so i'm just going to go in here with a single crochet and then in that very same stitch go in with a double crochet okay then going to the next stitch with a single crochet and then a double crochet so we have to increase a pair okay and now my last stitch is a double crochet so i'll make a single crochet on top of my previous one and then we have a single crochet and make a double crochet and I'm going to go with this pattern until I get to where I have my stitch marker and then make another increase.
so i'm here where my stitch marker is and i need to make an increase so my last stitch was a single crochet so i'll make a double crochet in there so i make a double crochet in that very same stitch i make a single crochet and then i go into the next one i make a double crochet and into that very same stitch i make a single crochet and then automatically my next stitch is now a double crochet and i'm just going to continue with this until i get to the end of the round and once i get to the end of the round then the next row will be a row of no increase at all okay so I'll, i will do two rows of increase because my bust is not that big it's 30 inches so i will only do two increases so it will be a row of increase a row of no increase a row of increase and then i stop increasing but if your bust is bigger then you can do a few more rows of increase maybe four or more so this is me trying out my dress to see if i need adjustments because i'm always trying out just to see so uh, here i see i need a few more rows i'll add about four rows all right so i went ahead added about four row, four rows and it was fitting perfectly so this is what i have i have about 24.5 inches long that's how my dress how long my dress is from top to bottom and it fits me the way that i want and now i just want this is my last skein and i want to make the straps so i used six skeins in case you're wondering and this is my sixth one so i'm going to make straps just right on see where your bra passes that's where i will make my straps because i want to be able to wear a bra so i already made one strap and i had marked on the other side so it's um from the side this is where we're ending and beginning our rows so i'm putting that on the side and i have one stitch here and then i counted seven on one side and put my stitch marker and then seven on the other side and put my stitch marker so i have 15 stitches in there between my straps so just measure uh, while you try on your dress to see if you have enough height and everything see where your bra straps pass then I mark that that space because i want to be able to wear a bra under this dress so for the length of the strap i made um it stretches to 10 inches so i'm going to make a chain leave alone this i will work in this one and i'm going to make a chain that uh, stretches to 10 inches so for me i need some stability so that's why i worked the single crochet in there and i made about 30 chains stretch this it uh, stretches to about 10 inches so i'm just gonna attach it on the other side where i have my stitch marker in the stitch next to it and the stitch before the stitch marker actually so here no stability so i'll go in the below like this and then i'm now going to work on it with double crochets okay so see where my stitch marker is so i'm just going to chain a one let's remove this all right so I'll chain one and go into this stitch here and make a slip stitch. I'll go below just for more stability. 
so now i'm going to work a row of uh, double crochet so i'll go into this very first stitch with a double crochet is it a stitch or a chain i think it's a chain so we'll be working uh double crochets in every single chain all the way to the bottom so go into every chain with a double crochet what's happening all right so simple i'll see you at the end of this strap So I'm at the end of the strap and these are my double crochets. So here where I have this stitch marker, I just take it out and I will slip stitch in there. And I'll just do another slip stitch here just to secure it. And then cut off your yarn. And you'll go ahead and do the other strap too, so that you have two straps. So this, these are my straps already. Uh, now I want to do that uh, that neckline. Okay, so just got my yarn, put it in a yarn needle, and I'm just going to go down in and out in and out down here in the middle of my dress all the way to where you want it to to reach <coughs> and once you are satisfied with that then uh, just go up again I need to add a little more depth to that. Then go up. Doing the same thing. In and out, in and out, in and out. And then just pull the two like this and then tie them together in a very tight knot and it gives you that little cute thingy there all right so i wasn't happy with the, the cleavage so i went ahead and went a little bit more below what I had done before and it gave me more of cleavage so yeah I like that and now I'm going to do the shell shelling edging on the straps and all around I think you don't see it in most of the pictures because you know the pictures I took today were not really that good it's hard to take your own pictures really it is so some of the details you don't see so I did the shelling edging on the on the straps and around. So that's what we're going to do. So reattach your yarn anywhere. I'll start here on the strap and chain one. Make a single crochet. Okay. Reattach your yarn. Chain one. Make a single crochet. And then we are going to skip two stitches so skip one skip two into the third stitch you're going to make five double crochets skip one skip two into the third stitch you're going to make five double crochets in that very one stitch So once you have your first five double crochets, you're going to skip two stitches and into the third stitch, you're going to make a single crochet. And then skip two stitches and into the third stitch, make five double crochets. So 
let's skip two stitches into the third one make a single crochet and you're going to just repeat this uh, all around like this below here and then here I'll show you how I did it and then go back up and behind all right so I came all the way back to where I started and I make a slip stitch on top of that very fast single crochet chain one cut your yarn pull through and done all right so this is what I have and here in the middle I didn't put any shell because I didn't want to take out that cleavage so it's just on the side so I made single crochets just there in the middle and you can also work this here and this here if you want for more coverage if you want to cover your bra more but I was tired at this point and I just decided not to okay so and this is it this is the dress guys i really love how it came out it really looks pretty you don't even see it's crochet it's just nice you know the colors the stitch itself it's a very beautiful stitch i think it turned out great and it's not a see-through it's just perfect so i love it i hope you do too and yeah thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next tutorial please don't forget to subscribe let's get to 200,000 people subscriptions are free free of charge please subscribe don't keep watching without subscribing okay bye